guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be the fall essentials tag, my must-haves for fall. This is a collaboration video with Ashley here on, on YouTube. Her channel is Ashley Elizabeth. Hi everybody, my name is Ashley. I hope you guys come and check out my fall essentials video. I just finished filming it for you guys and I have some great products to share with you guys makeup wise and fashion wise and candles because I love candles. So come out and check out my channel. Love you all and I hope to see you soon. I'm going to link her channel down below and her video so you guys can see what she thinks are must-haves fall. So I have gathered up some products and I just wanted to quickly go over some of the things that I think are essentials for fall. Now first thing I want to bring up is the fact that I live in Phoenix. It is the end of September and it is still over 100 degrees in Phoenix. I am faking it with this brown leather jacket but I am boiling inside my house. I actually really love fall though because it finally gets to the point where I could sneak away, sneak by by wearing a light jacket. So I'm not necessarily going for sweater weather with scarves and boots and everything because it's really not necessary. It's still in the 80s but I like to pretend so pretend with me okay. Um, as far as scents go this is a Bath and Body Works pumpkin pie. I love eating pumpkin pie. Uh, smells so good. Um, I love the marshmallow, what's it called? Uh, marshmallow something pumpkin. I really like that scent as well and I love apple and cinnamon scents like that for the fall. I think that they really just make your house feel warm like the fall. Um, I also really like wearing dark colors on my nails and lips. Um, I pulled a few. The one I'm wearing today is Sally Hansen Insta Dry. This is in Wind Up. Just like a deep um, burgundy color. Um, I also pour, pulled this one by OPI. This is called Susie Loves Cowboys and it's a deep brown. It almost looks like a burgundy or a black depending on the lighting. So I really like that. And then when I don't want to wear something super dark, I wear this one. This is um, Sally Hansen Golden Eye and it's just like a shimmery gold. So it's kind of fun. It kind of like leans me into the holidays a little bit. really like that one. And then on my lips today I have the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color. This is in Wine. My lips are called wine and my nails are wind up. So apparently I should be drunk right now. I guess. <laughs> um, I have a few more lipsticks here, but basically it's the same thing. This is Max Rebel. It's a deep purpley um, burgundy color. NARS Audacious Lipstick in Live. I've actually only worn this out of the house like once, but I put it on every time and I'm like, am I going to be bold today? And then I don't end up doing it. This is the Maybelline um, Creamy Mattes. Uh, the Maybelline Matte Lipstick, and this one is in Divine Wine. Very similar to the one that's on my lips right now. It's just a deep red. And then in the same line, the Maybelline Touch of Spice. If I want something just a little bit more neutral, natural for every day, but it's still got a good amount of brown in it. Um, and then last, when I'm feeling my mauve pinks, I'll definitely pull out Plum Rose. This is the Milani one, and it's just like a little bit of a deeper mauve color got some purple in it, a little bit of brown or something, but it's just a really easy thing to wear for every single day. But I also start wearing more browns in general. So instead of black liner in the fall, I'll actually pull out my browns and I'll wear more of the colors of fall. So like golds, browns, a really like orangey brown color like pumpkin pie um, and things like that to like make myself feel like it's fall because as I told you, it's still really hot here. Um, but I also wear like more olive greens and burgundies and cranberry colors because they just remind me of fall and I am sick of wearing coral and peach and hot pink and orange, you know, like for the summertime and it's actually refreshing to have a new palette to play with in the winter. Um, I wouldn't wear this color necessarily like in May, but there's no rules. I don't believe that there are any rules in makeup. I think you make your own rules and it's all about what you're comfortable with. Something I might not do would be something you love to do. Something that I love to do, like wear a deep lip, maybe is not your style and you're more into the mauve colors. It's all personal preference, but these are some of my essentials for fall. I just wanted to mention that another thing I love to do is I change up my coffee creamer in the fall. So instead of just like caramel or vanilla or whatever, I will use like a a more fall appropriate one. Can't quite do the eggnog in the winter, but I do like, you know, like a pumpkin or salted caramel stuff. 
um, like the hot chocolate oh my gosh so good so um, another thing I like to do is I switch my foundation a little bit to more of a luminous foundation in the fall and winter as it starts to get colder because my skin is dry already but in those seasons my tendency my tendency is to get a little bit more dry so I start using more of a luminous finish and I get a little bit lighter in the shade so I have two kinds of shades pretty much in my foundation collection I have a little bit lighter and luminous and then I have darker and more matte two different foundations and then I have a few that kind of mix and then I use cover FX um, custom cover drops right now to darken or lighten whichever foundation because as I said we are in transition between seasons. So those are my must haves and fall essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go check out um, Ashley's channel and I will link it below. I can't wait to find out what some of her fall essentials are. Thanks for watching. Bye.